Subtracting fractions with like denominators. This is a fraction. We've all seen these before. And a fraction has two parts. The first part is called the numerator. I'll write that on there. And the numerator is the top part of the fraction. It tells you the specific part that we're going to look at. The bottom part of the fraction is called the denominator. And the denominator tells us how many pieces we have all together. So in this particular fraction, 3 fourths, we can look at it and say, OK, we're looking at three specific pieces, and there are four all together. So that might be if you have uh, a group of students, three fourths, or three out of the four students were boys, only one of them was a girl. Numerator and denominator. So what we're going to talk about, what we're going to learn in this video is how to subtract fractions with like denominators. When we say like denominators, we mean what that means is the denominators are the same. So if you look at this example, we have 5 6 minus 2 6. Uh, so if, I, if I'm thinking about this, I might think, okay, we had 5 6 of a chocolate cake and I came and ate two-sixths of that chocolate cake, how much of the chocolate cake was left? Or, I guess if we look at the area model I drew, we can think of this as a candy bar. I do like candy bars. Um, so five-sixths, there was five-sixths of the candy bar left. I came and ate two-sixths. How much of the candy bar is left? So what we're going to do is we're simply going to, just like when we learned how to add, uh, f add fractions with like denominators, we're just going to carry our denominator straight over to our answer. So because our denominator is 6, we're going to carry the 6 over to the answer. And then we're just going to subtract our, our two numerators, 5, take away 2. That will leave us with 3. And if you want to, if you know the answer here, 3, 6, well, that's actually, you can also write that as 1 half because it's half of what's left. Now, if we look at our area model, you can see that I divided the area model into six pieces. That's our denominator. We had five sixths. So that's what we what we had. And I, so I shaded in five sections red. And what I'm going to do to illustrate this is from that five sections, I'm just going to cross out two of them, just like that. And then you can see that after I take away those two, we have three sixths left. All right, let's look at another example. Uh, here we have 3 fourths minus 2 fourths. So again, we're going to carry our denominator straight over because we had 4 in this problem and a 4 over here. Our denominator here is going to be 4. And then we're just going to subtract 3 fourths or 3 minus 2 gives me 1. So our answer here is 1 fourth. And again, if we look at our area model, you can see that I, I have the area uh, divided into four sections. That's how we got our denominator. I shaded in three, so three fourths, that's what we started with. And we took two fourths away, so I'm just going to scribble over this with my black, my black marker here. Or, you know what, even better, let's grab my eraser and we'll just erase. There we go. Just erase it. And how many pieces do we have left? We have one out of four, or one fourth. Okay, one more example before we get to the practice. This one I don't have an area model for. Uh, if you want to draw one, you can do that. Um, in fact, let's do it real quick. We'll do, we'll do, sir. Uh, actually, we'll do a set model this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then our first one says that eight of them. So we'll shade eight of them green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and. According to the problem, we started with eight. Eight of them are green. We're going to take six of them away. So one, two, three, four, five, six. How many pieces do we have left that are shaded green? Well, if you look, there's only two. Our denominator is 10, because we still have 10 pieces. Eight minus six would give us two, OK? All right, now it's time for you to do some practice. Uh, you can solve this directly if you want to, or you can do an area model, that's fine, or a set model like we did in the last problem. Um, but 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths, you're going to go ahead and subtract that. Hit pause, write the answer down on your piece of paper, share it with the person sitting next to you, um, and go ahead, hit pause, 
and we'll come back in a second. Okay, nine fourths minus I'm sorry, nine twelfths minus four twelfths. Again, we're just going to carry our denominator straight to the answer. Twelve and twelve, so our denominator and our answer is going to be twelve. And then nine minus four gives me five. So our answer here is the difference is five twelfths. Okay, practice problem number three. Three fifths minus one fifth. Go ahead and hit pause. We'll solve that one. Okay, three fifths minus one fifth. We're going to carry our denominator over. And then three minus one gives us two. Let me show you what that looks like in the area model. I'm going to shade in three fifths. So there's three fifths there. And according to our problem, we're taking one fifth away. So we have two-fifths of the uh, piece left, just like our answer. And then one final problem, six-sevenths minus two-sevenths. Go ahead and hit pause, solve that, share it with your neighbor. All right, so if we solve this again, we're going to carry our denominator straight over. And then six minus two gives me four. Our answer here is four-sevenths. All right, so that was how you subtract with um, subtract fractions with like denominators, um, and we'll see you next time.